Okay, in this video, we're going to look at exploratory factor analysis, specifically using principal component analysis in JASP. So I have my use of data and assessment items open. And you can see I already started changing some of these to scale instead of ordinal. And I'll show you why. So we're gonna go to, sorry, factor, principal component analysis and I'm going to highlight all of my items and put them in. But you'll see it won't let me put these guys in over here because they're not scale. So I'm just gonna go back over here, change these last items to scale, and that way everything will work and run the way that we need it to. We should be good. All right, so I'm gonna go back to factor. Nope. I'm gonna go over here and minimize my data, come back here, select, the rest of these guys and put all of my items in because these are the 15 items about use of data and assessment. Coming over here, I'm going to do parallel analysis based on PC. I'm going to click eigenvalues above one. I'm going to go to orthogonal and Viramax. And then I'm going to go down here to output options. Scrolling down, I want a scree plot. And I also want to do pairwise. This is going to highlight everything above a 0.4, which shows you what loads onto what, which is really nice. You can drop that all the way down if you want to see all of the factor loadings and how things are working. Um, I would probably do about a 0.3. Tends to be pretty good. Um, there are citations for a 0.3. Although I tend to just default to a 0.4, but I do like to see them all. So I'll just leave it at a 0.4 for the moment. And that is everything that we need to check. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to minimize this so I can focus on all of my statistics. Again, you can go up here to copy and copy everything over to Word, everything over to Excel. So I'm gonna start and actually scroll down a little bit farther. So I'm gonna start here with my eigenvalues. This is the four factors that it found with eigenvalues above a one. And I can see that this one is just barely on that cusp. These are very small, they're right near one. And then I have one that's very massive at a 0.5. I can also look at the variance accounted for by each one. So 35%, 36% of the variance in the total measure for these 15 items is accounted for by factor one. And these are accounted for by 10%, 8%, and about 7%. So they're definitely smaller factors. This is the big one. When I scroll down to my scree plot, um, it's given me a couple of different things. So I can see my five, my main factor right here, and then I hit my elbow and I can see there's three more little ones before my 1.0 cutoff. So we're retaining factors that are above a one. And that is still assuming that the factors make sense. So if this one right here, this really, really small one, if the items don't make sense together, maybe it's not a real factor. But we definitely have at least one. So now I'm gonna go up here to my rotated component matrix. And I know that it is because it says rotation right here. And it has, again, because of this 0.4 rating that we did over here, it has removed everything that is not a 0.4. And I can see that these are clearly loading together. So I've got all of these first, what, seven, um, seven or eight are loading onto factor one. I have these guys right here that are grouping together, and this is um, reading data, breaking down data, prior knowledge. These two are knowing are about reflection, so knowing what to improve and how to improve. I'm sorry, feedback, not reflection. These are on reflect and revisions. So these are kind of my data analysis questions. These are my feedback questions, and these are my revise and use questions. So it does make sense that there's four factors in this case. Um, the chi-square is actually not going to be used for this, so you can ignore that guy right there. And that is everything that we need to understand how many factors we have and how items are grouping together.
So if I had no prior knowledge, this is the first time I was looking at this, I would definitely be looking at what items are grouping, come over here and try to figure out what I wanna name this. Look at how these are grouping, what do I wanna name this one? How are these grouping, what are these two about, how do I wanna name that factor?